morning. This is Ennis from Never Stop Trucking. I am uh, taking this load today to uh, Columbus, Ohio. I have four stops. So now first I have to find the trailer here that I'm uh, going to hook up. Uh, it's uh, flatbeds, uh, curtain sides, what we're doing. So I'm going to find it here in the yard and hook up to it. And then uh, we'll start uh, going to that uh, journey. Uh, it takes you around six hours normal driving to get there, but you know with the stopping and, and the brakes and all that uh, I'm thinking at least seven hours uh, It's uh, 10:22 right now So I need some time to you know get settled in and hook up to the trailer. So uh, I'll see you in a minute now That I hooked up to the trailer. I have to go out and check everything make sure uh, everything on the trailer is okay do the uh, pre-trip inspection check the straps and uh, let's go ahead and do that right now. First thing I'm doing is uh, gotta hook up the power and the airlines. Should do it like this. Hopefully you can hear me. I ordered a new microphone that I can hook up to my phone. This is a uh, blue line. You gotta have both. Okay, now we're checking here to make sure the kingpin is locked. The handle is all the way in. As you can see, that means it's locked. There are no gaps between the fifth wheel and the trailer. And then also what I do is uh, I go underneath and I can see over there, which you can't probably see because it's dark, that the uh, fifth wheel is locked. You visually go underneath and check it, all right? And now we have the landing gear. We have to bring it up like so. All the way up. Now I'm gonna check if this is the right trailer. I got the paper for this trailer number. But I wanna check the product. You know, unhook a couple of these straps, the ones that hold the curtain. Then we have this part here. Gotta pull this here, do this, go here, and now this is loose. Okay, lift it up here, the bar, the bar goes down. Here we go. And this is the product we have inside. So I'm just gonna check a couple of stickers and move this. Columbus Sahaya, here we go. Okay, and now we have to book. Put back. So you gotta lock this up again here, okay? Lock it up and then tension it. See here? Like when you tension it, it's good. Right and now you gotta push, pull these down, make sure the side curtain sits here with them by the bars and lock it, see, has to be tight. I'm gonna go grab my bar, all right? I already checked the tires on the truck. Now we gotta check that each one of these straps is tight. So re-tighten them a little bit, a couple of clicks, you see right here. When you go down, okay? See how it locks, okay? It locks. Now we have to check all these straps as well on the other side uh, and make sure that you know we tighten them up to, you know one or two clicks. I already did it, so it's you know can't do it anymore. Check the tires on both sides. Make sure the lug nuts are in place. Go underneath. Uh, check the hoses. Check the brakes as well. Uh, check the lights, the straps, this here has to be engaged. That's it, I got everything uh, checked here. Um, trailer's hooked up, straps are checked in. I put in my uh, uh, address for the first stop and uh, I'm going to stop uh, maybe around uh, after 50 or 100 miles of driving and then recheck all the straps, uh, but it should be 
uh, should be uh, like a six, seven hour drive to Columbus. All right, so let's go into Ohio. Here I'm at the rest area and uh, by law you have to do a break uh, for 30 minutes after uh, eight hours of working, uh, driving and working combined. Uh, one of them or both of them combined so I can still as you can see here I can still drive for uh, three hours and 43 minutes but uh, I have a chance right now to do it and it will prolong uh, you know I'll have a, another eight hours available after this uh, provided that uh, I don't uh, use my uh, 14 hours here is, is the rest area for trucks I'm kind of on the shoulder but this is how this uh, rest area is built uh, it's kind of different so I'll, I'll uh, we'll walk together I'll show it to you this is a vehicle it's loud it's loud look at those guys over there with all those pipes or whatever they have that uh, green semi look at this guy this is a nice load yeah that's what I'm talking about. The chains, man, look at that. Now look at those windmills. There is uh, there is hundreds of them in this area. Hundreds, like as far as you can see over there. Look at that. So many windmills. Well, that was quick. 29 minutes already. What? And now I got 6 uh, hours and 41 minutes to break. So that's... That's when my 14 hours expire. All right, let's let's do it. Let's go. Okay. It's uh, 6:07. Got here to my first stop in Columbus, Ohio. Uh, the weather is kind of, uh, as you can see, uh, it's uh, cloudy. They uh, had rain here, but it stopped, so that's good. Uh, so I'm here a bit early, so it gives me enough time. To get some sleep and then uh, they open up at 7 a.m. so I'll uh, get up, up probably around 6 30 6 15 or so uh, and then uh, we have uh, this stop to finish and then three more so four total four stops total and then uh, in the morning it's probably gonna be uh, dark so I don't know if I'm gonna be able to record on the first stop but hopefully on the second one I can uh, make some recordings for you and in the meantime I'll just uh, maybe clean up my truck a little bit so see you guys tomorrow morning uh, got to my second stop uh, the first one I already did it was dark so I didn't record uh, but got to the uh, second one and uh, checked into receiving now we have to go down there on the corner and that's where they're gonna unload us that's where they're gonna, gonna come out and I'm gonna go get uh, everything ready right now so hopefully you can hear me well, I'll turn off the truck so you can hear me here we go and uh, I, got, I gotta put my uh, pants on you know to protect myself so I don't get dirty Okay, gotta get my bar here. Well, first, I'll get my gloves. Gloves right here. And my bar. So I'll put the left on. All right, so he took off those three units. I didn't want to record, I didn't want him to wait, but uh, they're returning these uh, spacers or sticks or damage, uh, whatever you want to call them. So I gotta strap them together and then uh, take care of these straps uh, roll them together so this one here i'm just gonna put it over this one like so all right so it kind of holds the one on the other side this one they're small it's hard to strap them so this is gonna be can move this here put it right here so this should hold it I'll make sure it's nice and tight so the way you do that is uh, you gotta look for the end here all right and then because I'm doing everything with my with one hand it's kind of tough I'm gonna put it here 
through the hole and then bring it back around like that. Okay, put the rest up there and hopefully it did good. So now just loose a bit like this and start turning here. Okay. So that's good. And now I take my bar and make sure it's tight. You can see as I'm tightening this part keeps going down so it's gonna hold it. And I have side curtains as well. So, so here we go. And then I'll uh, I can go down a lot because this is just done -ish, so there's nothing really to damage. I want to make sure it's tight. And then I'll go to the other side too. And, uh, and then I have to take care of these. I'll go to the other side. And it's one, two, third one. So make sure this side is tight. Okay, that should do it. Then uh, I'll bring my stick here to the other side so I don't forget it. So bring it here. Go unhook these other two straps that I have to roll together. Okay. So you gotta hold this with one hand. Try to do it like this so you can see. Okay. Unroll it. Okay, here we go. Now pull out the upper part and then we'll pull it out on the other side. I'm gonna go to the other side and roll them together. So there is some work here to be done, okay? So these I'm just gonna roll them together and I need two hands for that. And now that the straps are rolled, I have to move this here. See the straps are there. I have to Slide this all the way to the back. Right here. See? And then to try to do this with one hand. Go up to it. See? And then go down here. It has to go down here so I have to do it with two hands. And now that I have this part down here too. Push this back, push it, turn around, and then it's sitting well. Now we have to do these straps, which is fun. So I got to my third stop now in Columbus, but there is that lumber truck that's kind of holding up the whole uh, space there. So I don't know if they're going to wait till they unload him or no, but I'll go there and ask. Meantime, Look at these uh, military trucks right here next to it. There is uh, a lot of them here. Some trailers. Cool. Here he is unloading. So I'm gonna go down there, walk, and see uh, what they want me to do. In the meantime, I can start uh, uh, opening up that uh, side curtain on my truck and then just kind of get it started. But it's all drywall. I thought it was lumber but it's uh, drywall, so uh, this might take a while, so let's see. It looks like this is a, a U.S. Army Reserve Center. It's a, it's a big complex, so I was just looking at it on Google Maps, and they have some uh, uh, people there exercising. Look at that. I'm gonna grab this curtain, slide it, slide it, slide it. Now this is the fun part. Sliding it back, okay? And now you have to put this bar down here and the one up, up there, so I need two hands for that. I got my straps done here. Just gonna double check the ones in the back to make sure they're tight. And then go to the other side and that's what I always try to do because these will get loose sometimes uh, when you unhook the other side so just uh, 
you know, it's like a couple of minutes extra, but I just want to have that peace of mind that everything is tight. Now all of these straps are tight. All right, good, good, all right, off to the next one. This is the fourth one, the last one for today. It's uh, 9.52, which is uh, okay for the fourth stop. You know, started at 7 a.m., uh, four stops in Columbus, Ohio. So uh, I just have to go out and now I have to move both sides of the side curtains on the truck because they're getting 10 units. Um, I counted 11. You know on the truck so i don't know maybe like they have a like bundle it together so let's go outside and finish this one too to the other side right now. This is a big train right here and it's still passing by. It's been like Five minutes and it's still passing by. Look at that trailer. And the trailer is empty. We are finished officially. Thanks again. See ya. And uh, we have an empty trailer. We have to close it up. And uh, that's about it. Then we can go home. And uh, we have like a six hour drive, but that's probably gonna be seven or more because <clears throat> we have to get fuel and do a 30 minute break and depends all on the traffic too all right we got uh, into michigan it's uh two o'clock two or two right now and uh, we are at the uh, loves uh, fuel truck stop and we're gonna get some see right here we're gonna get some fuel and I'll show you how we do that. I'm gonna flip this over. See, some trucks here, some trucks next to me. So I'm gonna get ready and then uh, we'll get some fuel. Here's our fuel pump. And we gotta get some uh, diesel and uh, some death fluid to save the environment. Okay, and uh, we have to put in your love's uh, rewards card. I don't have it on me. I have the fuel card, so they uh, will ask you for different information. You put in a truck number, how many miles, like the, you know, choose what you have. You want diesel, you want uh, uh, death, right here, right there. And then uh, we'll start on that. Okay, now that I have all my information, we're gonna get this nozzle. Okay, get this ready, put the nozzle here, put it in, make sure it's secure, gotta lift this up, okay, but now I don't, so I gotta get some of those to hold this secure, okay, and we have to go to the other side too, and then after that we gotta do this, the death There are two, tri uh, two uh, fuel tanks on uh, all of these big trucks each side and see this one is 120 gallons so see so both of them are 120 plus 120 240 gallons of fuel 
and uh, sometimes you can get bigger ones, you know, like 150 each, uh, or you can have like uh, 120 on one side and 100 on the other. I'm gonna wash my windshield here a little bit on my. Uh, side uh, windows here okay and I'm doing this with one hand so it's not really perfect so this is how you do the windshield okay and uh, just keeps the bugs away and the dirt okay so one of these just today the logs where I was unloading, that guy is getting his fuel over there. There is an oversized load. And then he's uh, double checking the chains. Cool, huh? So cool. Got it. Yeah, I need one of these. Oh. Nice. And I need one of these uh, navigation systems. The big truck so Amazon is cheaper than this. This one is seven hundred nine hundred dollars and sale for eight hundred. That's a big GPS. Wow. Cameras, CBs, inverters, I mean everything, toys, drinks. I don't need any of that. I'm bad back back to West Michigan and uh, it's 6 7 p.m. so I made it started 7 a.m. this morning Columbus got four deliveries and got back here at 6 uh, as usually there is uh, always some traffic and something that you know goes on so we have to drop off the trailer here and then uh, we'll take the truck to the uh, parking all right so let's go out and uh, drop the trailer thing we do in this power Put it back in there. There we go. And get the uh, red hose. Blue. And then we gotta get the fifth wheel uh, here unhooked. This uh, handle right here. Landing gear down. Landing gear is down, the tool is unhooked, and the hoses are not so we can go.